In the latest chapter of Tower of God, a huge bombshell was dropped. Han Sung Yu is a lot more important than we think. I want to break down what we know, not just everything about Han Sung, because you can check out my lore video if you want more on that, but more specifically, why Traumarai stopped then. What is Han Sung talking about specifically there? So we've known for a while that Han Sung knows stuff. He knows things that he shouldn't. For example, on the hidden floor, he seems to know a lot about Bomb and V, even though Han Sung wasn't around that long. He's not that old. He's like 500 plus, you know, he's not 20,000 years old, but he seems to know a lot about like future prophecies and an irregular entering the tower, even on the hidden floor, when Han Sung was still a regular. On top of that, in season one, we saw that Han Sung apparently knew about Ghost and Heden sending Ghost as a bodyguard for Rachel. This could just be because of his affiliation with Fug, but even then, like, he's affiliated with Fug, he's affiliated with Evan Kell, he seems to be affiliated with Heden somehow, but I guess if Heden's affiliated with Fug, then that would explain that. If you want more on that topic, there's also this video. So, like, okay, we know Han Sung knows a lot of mysteries and a lot of secrets, but it gets a lot deeper than that. SIU made character profiles for the family heads, like, over a decade ago, a long time time ago, breaking down all the different family heads, little fun facts about them. You know, we learned most of their names. The only one that we didn't learn was actually Traumarai, which is why it was such a big deal to learn his name. And in his post about Hendolock Blood Matter, in Hendolock Blood Matter's section, SIU states that Han Sung has a special connection with Hendolock Blood Matter. This has always stuck out to me, you know, some people just assumed, oh, maybe he's related to Blood Matter, but it's weird, like, why would you word it like that, like, there's some kind of connection? And Han Sung Yu, like, that's not a Hendolock name, unless it's a branch of the Hendolock family, like, the way it's worded and the whole situation, I've always known it's different, but I never thought it would be revealed this soon. Now, if you need a reminder, Hendelok Blood Matter, he does not have immortality. He's the only one of the family heads, aside from V, who didn't make the contract, who his immortality can only be achieved by basically stealing the life of his children. This is why his kids don't live very long. Even compared to most rankers, they don't live very long, let alone the 10 families, right? So his kids, he essentially steals their life to be immortal. And he's the only one who had to go through this. We don't know why that is. That's a whole nother topic about why the administrator singled out blood matter of all people to do this to. But one way or another, that is his situation. This directly ties into the latest chapter. But before we get to that, I do want to point out that there have been some people pointing out that there are multiple translations, not just of the latest chapter scene, but also of the scene with Haracha and Hansung. The original translation is Hansung basically saying, I want to take down the family heads like Harachi says who are you right and it's this very interesting scene where it's like who are you Hansung you're not just a ranker like who are you and he says I'm the only one who wants to basically take down the family heads and their unlawless their lawlessness and they've basically broken the rules it's like this scene where he's like I'm a badass okay and it's pretty straightforward but in an alternate translation a number of you have let me know and I've double checked this this could also be interpreted as who are you Han Song and he says I'm the one who's going to break the limits of the family heads or there's a connection between breaking limits and the ten families that to me is so much more interesting because it makes Han Song specific specifically seems special. Okay, so then we get to the latest chapter, and the current translation, this is the big one, this is the big debate about what Han Sung really said, but the current line translation says, the fragment for the contract of immortality, that man told me to and then it cuts off. Now, don't get me wrong, like this translation alone is super exciting. Like if this is what Han Sung said, I would, I already lost my mind in yesterday's reaction. But the reason why this could be something bigger is because I've looked it up and I've talked to a number of you and I've sort of double checked this and there are a couple of different ways to translate this. The biggest one and the one that would mean the most, I think, is one of the pieces to achieve the contract of immortality of that person is me. If this is the translation, that means that Han Sung Yu directly is a piece. Like Han Sung not only like knows something, like he is special to the contract of Hendelok Blood Matters immortality. The third translation that I've heard is the piece to achieve the contract of immortality. I've been by him and then it cuts off. 
Now, I actually like this one the best. The reason why I like this one is because it hints at Hong Sung's special nature, but also doesn't give too much away. Like, you get the impression he's being choked. I I've been by him, you know, it's like he's basically saying, I'm trying to get out as much information as possible, but he's not able to fully spell it out for us. In the second one, it's like, it's me, like I'm the one. And it's like, okay, I mean, are we just gonna just flat out say it, you know? I like this one because it's implying that, but we still don't fully know. Now, just because I like it doesn't mean it's the true one, and maybe you all can elaborate in the comments, like, is there even more translations for that sentence that he said? Because this is a big deal. This means either way, like however you translate this, Han Sung Yu is special. Now the conclusion that I've come to and the common answer that I've seen among you all is that Han Sung somehow is a piece of Blood Matters immortality. Han Sung, for some reason, maybe is a member of the family, but escaped the curse. Perhaps Blood Matter wants to find out why Han Sung didn't carry on the curse. Like, how is Han Sung still alive? Maybe he's lived a really long time. But I feel like it's gotta be something deeper than that because even as a regular, like he wasn't that old, but he still knew all of these secrets. So it seems to me there's a connection to Blood Matter that has to do with Blood Matter's immortality, but I don't know if it means he's related. Maybe Han Sung just knows something. He's from a family that has researched the contracts or researched immortality. I'm not really sure. But the weirder thing is, Blood Matter himself told Traumerai because Traumerai instantly knows and says, oh, he, you know, this creature, my friend needs him. And it's like, okay, so this is common knowledge that Blood Matter was looking for someone? It's so weird because instantly Traumerai was like, oh, don't kill him. Like what? This is a big mystery. I am so intrigued by this and I'm hoping that Han Sung doesn't get captured and we don't see him for a while, that would suck. But we have gotten a lot of Han Sung screen time. He's gotten to kick some ass, which is really cool. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think is going on between Han Sung and Blood Matter? Huge shout out to my patrons who have been supporting my channel so, so much. I love each and every one of you. You're all amazing. And check out Towers and Gods. We recently had, in my opinion, the most fun battle of the entire series, Yule and Bool and Smile versus the regulars. It was so cool. Like, I, I think it just went so well and the entire episode was a blast. So check it out. The link is down below. And with that being said, I will see you in my next Tower of God discussion video. Take care.